Hey, welcome everyone to the review of the Philips Hue Playlight Bar Smart Lighting Kit. Now, if you want to see the written review of this product, you can find a link to my website in the video description. It's a great product to bring in fresh vibe to just about any room or setting of your home. The Playlight Bar has a rated 25,000 hour bulb and a 10 year lifespan. These lights can get surprisingly bright as they can output 530 lumens. They do a great job to take something that looks dull and make it look better. The lights will look fantastic just about anywhere you put them. You can adjust the brightness level easily in the app or by using your voice with a smart home assistant. More on that later. The Kelvin rating ranges from 2000 to 6500. The higher the Kelvin rating, the closer you get to natural sunlight. You can choose between 16 million colors for these lights. Each light uses LED technology and consumes a low 6.6 .6 watts of power. These lights are not cheap though. Here in Canada, they're $143 and in the US, they're $149 as of today which is really weird because the Canadian dollar up here is way weaker than the US dollar. So we finally get a win <laughs> up here in Canada in terms of technology pricing. To make things even more expensive to use the lights at all, you'll need the Philips Hue bridge. The bridge is sold separately and acts like a hub that allows you to control the lights and other Philips Hue smart bulbs. Without the bridge, the Philips Hue play light bulbs are pretty much useless. The proprietary power adapter allows for three play light bars to be plugged in. The power cable for each light is two meters long. Connectivity is achieved over Wi-Fi and does not allow for ethernet connectivity. Each light measures in at 10 by 1.7 by 1.4 inches. They're smaller than what I originally expected, but this turned out to be a good thing. They take up less space than I anticipated, but still provide solid performance. I set up my lights with my basement TV OLED gaming area. Again, it took what looked dull and made it even better. Of course, I expanded on my lighting setup with the Nanoleaf Shape Smart Lighting Kit and the Nanoleaf Elements Smart Lighting 2, but that was just my personal preference. Links to the review of those products are in the video description. Setup was a breeze. Plug in the lights to power, open up the app, scan for new Philips Hue products, and that's pretty much it. My setup of placing the lights horizontally is very basic, but works perfectly for me. You also have the option to stand them vertically if you want to, but if you want to get a bit more creative, you can literally attach it to the back of your TV, uh, for example, because there's another clip you can attach to the back with a screw that comes out of the box and a double-sided sticky tape you literally attach it to the back of the TV and uh, there's your ambient lighting. In the app, you can group Philips Hue products by creating custom areas in your home. From here, you can turn entire room lights on together or individually. Customizations of the lights can get pretty granular. You can adjust brightness, color white light temperature, choose from scene color templates and download more scenes. There's a section for automation, which includes some examples, having the lights turn on slowly when the sun is rising, turning on the lights when you come home by tracking your GPS on your phone and a whole bunch more. The sync tab allows for syncing your lights with music or things that might be playing on your screen. In order to sync things with your screen or TV, you'll need the sold separately Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box. I use a sync feature for music and it works pretty well. In fact, there are a ton of third-party apps to support audio syncing, at least for Android. The Explorer tab lists services natively designed to work with Hue products. This includes smart home integration with services like HomeKit, Google Assistant, SmartThings, IFTTT, and more. Lastly, Settings is where you can sync Hue products with the bridge. It's also where you can add a Hue account so you can control your lights even when you're outside your home and using mobile data. The app recently got an interface overhaul not too long ago, but nothing was really improved. Finding certain controls still needs some polishing, and there's also the issue of reliability. The app never crashes for me, but sometimes I'll adjust powering lights on or off or adjusting brightness levels and nothing happens. Sometimes it takes over five seconds for the app to finally connect with the light and accept commands. This doesn't happen often, but it does happen. I already covered the integration services in the app section, but here we'll go over performance. I synced mine with Google Assistant so I can tell Google things such as, turn on the basement TV play lights. Got it, turning on two lights. And then I took things up a notch by using Google Assistant routines by having my Hue Play lights, Nanoleaf elements, and Nanoleaf shapes all turn on at the same time. For example, gaming mode on. It's game time. As I mentioned earlier, there's an HDMI sync box, but I don't have that. But I can comment on the music syncing mode. I've synced mine up with my Spotify account. It's incredibly responsive, but due to how fast the light pulses for certain sounds, it can be a little tough on the eyes. I found this smart lighting kit to be a very simple idea, but very effective. It took something that was kind of dull looking and made it like really cool to just chill out and just play some video games, watch a movie, whatever. The biggest gripe I have is the cost. It's really expensive. Not only that, you do have to buy the Philips Hue bridge separately, which is an additional cost because without it, yeah, you can plug in the lights, they'll turn on. And that's it, they literally do nothing else without the bridge. You can't even turn them off. So they don't even work as dummy lights, really, unless you unplug them. Overall, pretty good product, 
but only if you're willing to dish out the cash, of course. So that's enough for me. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.